It's Madden NFL 24, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Washington Commanders and the Baltimore Ravens. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and m and Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on their Beltway rivals, the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. It's the Battle of the Beltway, Baltimore and Washington are underway. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do, but now, He's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. They'll take that 14 yards on play number one. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. He was trying to clear the way of the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hold. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Inside handoff, Henry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. 
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the fall start. To throw is Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 17-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Well, he had success earlier in the drive, keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Well, the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And Nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. They'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. Three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 2 deep here comes a return and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback here are the commanders for their first drive of the game and they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league the young rookie quarterback tell you what partner he might just be a rookie but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he has advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Now a first carry here for Robinson, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second down, another shot for Robinson. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And a man 
manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot in the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off of a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch them on their heels. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Eluding the pressure right, and he'll hit the deck, but he did not get there. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Deontay Hardy back deep. And this will be taken at the 13. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Play action. Now Jackson. And this one is incomplete. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. They go play action now. Jackson rolling to his left. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Jackson. A little short one there, caught by Likely. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and three. Now it's Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. Jackson to Bateman there for the Baltimore first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? 
to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That one goes for 30 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But they've proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Jackson to throw. That's caught. It's Cunningham. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Throwing is Jackson. And it is caught. And he will have a Ravens first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And that's good for a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Jackson will throw again. This is caught. Touchdown! Isaiah Likely. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. 
A nice run on first down. Gets him six yards to the 31. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays. Run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And they're going to motion dots into the left. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. On the counter, this is Robinson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Here's a second and five. Robinson up the middle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs. They have to... And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in there to drop him. Up two touchdowns. How about that drive? Kill up a sack there to add to their good play. This offense coming away with no points now when some kind of score was desperately needed. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. A check down here for Henry. Just a gain of a couple there. And it's second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. On second down, here's Henry. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. The offense on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. 
Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Dax Mill deep for Washington. That's pulled in at the 32. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. The Washington offense back out there. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Throwing on first down, Daniels. That's complete. Terry McClellan with it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Daniels. Here's a screen for Robinson. He's got room at the 30. And he is out of bounds but not before he's inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Now a third and six. Back to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Again, he'll drop to throw. That one thrown away from the pocket. And the officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They'll look to throw again. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. The kick by McManus is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now.
After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. And the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with a 14-3 advantage already, we'll see how much they want to try to push things, if at all. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum, or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top, or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Ravens were led in that first half by who else? The former MVP, Lamar Jackson. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Here come the commanders for the first possession of the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Here's a quick throw out wide. It's McLaurin. So just three yards on the completion there. And it brings up third and five now. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. And I believe this is going to be on Washington. Not easy being a rookie left tackle in this league, and there they got him for the penalty. Not easy at all. Think about what you're dealing with every game you play. Ostensibly, the best pass rusher is over you on every snap. I'd be a little jumpy myself. And they're going to motion dots into the left. And he's going to handle it on the touch pass. 
Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 25 yards that time. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Back to throw, Daniels. Looking for McCoy, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. From 19 yards away, and the Commanders have got it back to within a score. And now the Washington offense going to stay out there and go for two. They'll let Robinson try and run. And he'll get in for the two points. So that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your... And Henry's hit. He lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. And whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's in to take it the other way and try to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are. And now a terrific opportunity inside the five. Well, another drive coming up for this Washington offense. And following the turnover, they'll look to take the lead here as they start with a first and goal. Quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. Following the fumble recovery, Daniels toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. Robinson will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. 
They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Zach Ertz from four yards out. And the Commanders have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. McManus's point after is good, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. And the Ravens taking the field. Charles, you got to think the number one goal here is ball security. Remember, last drive, they coughed it up. Then they allowed the touchdown, and now they're trailing on the scoreboard. Boy, the way you described it makes me think that that one actually hurt them three times. The fumble cost them potential points. Then they watched their opponent get a touchdown off of the fumble. And third, they lost the lead as a result. Really tough sequence right there. I don't think coaches have to remind them to hold on to the football. They've just got to find a way to get it done. Play action. It's Jackson. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And yeah, he'll have it past midfield to the 40 before being taken down. A big pickup of 38. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Jackson, option right, and he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable, but that time the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Jackson throwing complete there to Flowers. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. From the gun, it's Jackson. Complete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. And that is no good. Hit it well from distance, but he couldn't work it back in. And that will keep this a four-point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 
kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and two. Off the play fake, Daniels. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first down, Daniels. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Looking to throw, Daniels. And that's off the mark, incomplete. I like his awareness in the pocket there. Nowhere to go with the football. So instead of forcing it to the sideline, he's just going to put this one into the harbor and live to fight another down without getting wet. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Off the bootleg, Daniels. Throw over the middle into the hands of the tight end Bates. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Touchdown, Washington. From four yards out. And the Commanders will add to their fourth quarter lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Extra point from McManus is good. And that pushes the lead up to 11.
After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Here's second and three. Jackson now. A short throw caught by Andrews. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So yeah, that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. A first down carry for Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Jackson. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, in tapping those toes, he tried to get both inbounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both <laughs> feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. On first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. To throw again is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now second and five. Now it's Jackson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. This offense so far on third down, they've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. Jackson from the shotgun. And he's going to go down. They get 
to him back at the 40. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now the commander's offense set to take over. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Off play action, Daniels. This to McLaurin out on the left side. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he gets it down to the 32. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Robinson with another carry. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Back to throw. Daniels working in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout 
And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Indeed, take a knee. Second and eleven. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time, the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. And the kick is good, so you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet, but until then, this game's over. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.